This is a story about how I found myself shooting an entire pre-wedding film by myself. In August 2020, I received a message from an old friend. This is Jeremy, aka Gems. And I met Gems in army back in 2017. And he was my senior slash upper study back then. So Gems asked whether I could shoot his pre-wedding photos and videos for his wedding in November 2021. And this is way before I started making proper YouTube videos. So of course I was super honoured and stressed at the same time because I had never done a shoot of this scale before. Plus doing both photos and videos at the same time by myself was something that was quite crazy to think about. But I guess Gems trusted me and I really couldn't say no. In November 2020, we met up at a Starbucks with Shervin, who was Jeremy's fiancé, and we started to plan out the entire shoot process and started filming that same year in December. So we ambitiously decided to have three sets of photos and videos. One for when they first met in school, the second one covering their day in their life, and the third one which is a more wedding type shoot. I'm going to share two of my favourite videos from the set and let Gems and Shervs post the full length short film by themselves because they also have their own channel, so if you're interested in couple related content, I'll drop a link to the channel below. So before I talk about the entire filming process, here's the first video that we shot, how their story first started. We met in 2013, poly year 1 sem 2. We were in the same class, and then I saw this girl from across the classroom. Like every morning, like he will come to my place and pick me up. So it's very nice that like every time I exit the house, right, then I'll see a guy sitting at the staircase and waiting for me. Every memory made of the dream that is here today. Can you see it? We got a beautiful story. Like very quiet, like not like the, the funny, funny guy, you know. But then, like, after I know him for like longer, then I realized that he's like the super funny guy, like, he's so different. Like, he really like, like himself, go and I'll be himself. <laughs> At that point of time, uh, like when we were spending time together, I didn't, I didn't think we'll be here today. So looking back, I, I do treasure it. Like, it's something that I, it's a memory that I'll uh, always remember. Through an open door, it's like finding what you're looking for. We got a beautiful story. Okay, so this is one of the letters that she wrote to me. Hi honey, time flies so fast. We've been together for 6 months. It is 180 days of love and happiness. You bring me so much joy and laughter into my life. And I'll keep it with me forever and treasure it like I treasure you. So for my friends who have noticed me posting some Insta stories with the couple on shoot days, you might have noticed that we started shooting this entire thing in December 2020 and we only just finished in end October this year. So yeah, we probably set the record for the longest pre-wedding shoot ever and a lot of it is because of many cancelled days because of the phase 2 heightened alert. There were so many days that rained as well when we wanted to shoot and because our schooling and the couple was working, we ended up dragging the entire shoot and just never got to completing it. But fast forward to this week, I finally finished all the photos and the 3 videos that they're gonna show on their wedding weekend this week. In fact, I had to edit the 3 videos together with my university Q&A video last week. So last week I was really just dying from the lack of sleep. <laughs> 
But today is the 19th of November, one day just before the actual wedding day itself. And I'm really excited for the couple and I just can't wait to see how tomorrow goes. So let's go. Good morning, sir. So you might be wondering why you're seeing a pre-wedding film on my channel because it's quite different and outside what I usually do. And that's what I told myself when I first started on this project. But I think as an amateur creator, I'm still trying to figure out what I really would like to film. And this project just gave me a chance to just film something new and try different things. So what I really took away from this shoot was to just better my storytelling, my filming, learning about how to price my work, and even just directing a bigger shoot. And this growth wouldn't have been possible if not for the trust of Gems and Chefs in trusting me and allowing me to bring this story to life. So thanks guys for allowing me to be part of this journey, for picking up my weird habits when I'm taking Insta stories, for causing me to follow so many wedding photographers and videographers on Instagram, and just for making this short film with me. So that's the end of today's video, don't forget to like, share and subscribe, and hope you enjoyed this documentation and result of a pretty long journey for me. This is perhaps one of the bigger things I've done in 2021, and I just can't wait for the new projects to hit. To end off, this is the third video of this series that I made, and probably my favourite one. So I'll see you guys in the next one. Cheers guys. I think the best part about being with shows is being able to be 100% real and, and be 100% myself. I feel that I can be whoever I want to be in front of her, to be vulnerable in front of her without receiving judgement. I think it's one. I think it's the best thing uh, that about being with her. how great and how nice a guy he is. He motivates me and like, makes me want to be a better person when I'm with him. Best thing about being with like Jeremy is that like, he always like never fails to make me laugh. Like always, I feel that like whenever I'm with him, I'm always laughing. Which makes me like sure that like for the rest of my life, I will always be happy when I'm with him. Lifetime of adventure and being able to go through 
the different milestones in life and overall just growing old together with, with many adventures. Looking forward to not to say goodnight like over the phone but right beside you. I'm really looking forward to build like a Christ and the family with you. I know that you'll be a good father and I know that you will lead the family towards the right direction. I had to tell something to my 2013 self is to just keep doing whatever we're doing. Loving each other, uh, mm -hmm. communicating with each other, and having a Christ centered relationship. Mm -hmm. Subscribe, comment. Hey, like, comment. <laughs> <laughs> I don't remember. What does Mark say? Like, comment, subscribe. <laughs>